Now we get to put color on it. What color? <laughs> Jill, you know what color. What color um, are we going to paint it? Do you want to tell? John Bentley, this is for you. So I figured I would show you guys what finding windows for the bus actually looks like. I'm currently on my way to a business that works on semis. The guy just happens to have a really big junkyard and there's an old RV there. And he's got at least two windows in there that I know that I want. Places like this is where you find what you need to build a schoolie. Because believe it or not, there's an old RV back here. All right, that window and that one down there. We're gonna take those. And this thing has definitely seen better days, but perfectly good windows just need to be cleaned. These are the types of situations you have to get into. Now, that floor probably completely rotten we got to get to that window and then there's a window back in there but this is how you don't spend two thousand dollars buying windows for your bus so tell them what kind of animals have lived in here or are currently living in here We're gonna have to pry that out from the outside. I'll be honest, I'm actually afraid to walk through here. You know, might get bit by a snake, raccoon. I think the last thing I wanna do while I'm in here is open a door. There she is. Anybody home? This one looks like it's gonna come off with just me pushing it. Go outside, ah, grab the window. We officially have all the windows. I'm gonna use this one because it's like the slimmest for the bathroom. And then these two right here, these brown ones will be K 
kitchen windows. Um, so yeah. All the windows have been cut. All the rivets have been riveted. Uh, yeah, yes, Installed. all the rivets have been put in. Put in, whatever. Jay counted all the rivets too. It's 1,295, nearly 1,300 rivets. And we don't have a pneumatic riveter. No, so we all have done by hand. four arms of steel. Jay now put most we're... of the rivets in. I did. I did that. Now we have to sand the entire bus. We're getting ready to paint. Yeah. Woo! Painting's gonna be... Exciting and fun, because it'll make the bus look, like, nice. Yeah, painting's gonna be a lot of fun, but sanding is not gonna be fun. We're not gonna put you guys through the sanding process. It's really repetitive and uh, pretty dull, uninteresting, boring, all that good stuff. I think it's actually kind of fun. It's repetitive. Jay is the only person on earth that thinks <laughs> sanding is fun. I don't know. When it, you know that it's like so smooth mm -hmm. and it just looks <clears throat> so nice. And I'm just imagining it painted like our color. Why didn't I have you and sand just, all like, of my woodworking projects? It's just exciting. <laughs> we basically just have to scuff up the paint enough for the enamel to stick. We will be back when the entire bus is sanded. Hi. <laughs> All right. And we're back and it's a few days later. We're finally done sanding the bus. She doesn't look very good, but <laughs> she's sanded. So I used a wire wheel on the adhesive strips here from where the reflector tape was and the words up here to get all the adhesive off because it was really stuck on there. Then sanded it to make it nice and smooth. Jay did about 95% of that work. <laughs> yeah, we're going to seal all of the seams in the metal. All of these seams, like this one right here, we've got to use some kind of silicone or caulk to seal those holes just to make sure water doesn't get in there. Yeah, that's where we're at. The next step is to wash the bus. Hey Jess, you ready to wash the bus? I am ready. Let's, Let's do it. it. Let's do it.
also Jay's grinding some more gunk off of the doorway. We just got done getting all the windows out. We washed it and now the next step is to give it an acetone bath, which is going to get all of the dust and debris off the bus. Uh, so the paint will actually stick pretty good. After that, we're going to start taping everything off and then tomorrow we're going to lay down some primer. It's going to be fun. All right guys, so the bus is fully primed. Now, we get to put color on it. What color? What color? <laughs> <laughs> but there's a catch. It's gonna rain tomorrow and we don't have enough time to tape off the roof. The roof is gonna stay white, but the rest of the bus is getting the color. Because of that, we're really excited to see the color as well. So we're gonna paint a pretty good section right here and we actually get to see what the color is. We don't have enough time to paint the rest of the bus, but there it is. It is a green-ish coat. I, I don't, Jay picked a, it out. It's a really light green. I don't even remember what the paint color is called. I'm it, really excited. About it looks very, it looks minty on camera. Does it? Yeah, it looks minty on camera. If you can imagine the bus is gonna be this color and the roof is gonna stay white which that'll help with the temperature inside. But yeah, there it is. Ow!